second way to get a derivative of this. You're going to find the derivative of arcsec of 1 over x to the power of arc cos of 1 over x. You want to find the derivative of that. Okay. Before that, let us rewrite. Uh, arc set 1 over x arc cos 1 over x is the same thing as arc tan of x and then write the arc set 1 over x as arc cos of x to the power of arc tan of x okay now we are going to find the derivative Okay, the derivative of that is arc tan of x comes down. We have arc cos of x to the power of arc tan of x minus 1 times the derivative of arc cos of x, which is 1 over square root 1 minus x squared, similar to arc sine, except you need to add in, add in with a negative sign. Okay. Oh. Okay. Plus by the same thing, uh, arc cos x to the power of arc tan of x, ln of the base, times the derivative of arc tan x is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Okay. We can pull out the common vector. Is a cos of x to the power of uh, arc tan of x. Then you have negative from here. Then you have arc tan of x. Then you have arc cos of x to the power of negative 1. Then you have 1 over square root 1 by x squared. Plus, you take this out, you still have the this piece. Ln uh, arc cos of x divided by 1 plus x squared. Okay, you either can leave it this way or if you want, change it back to the original form. This is uh, set by, yeah, arc set of 1 over x to the power of. One over x and then x squared. And this is minus uh, arc cos of one over x, and then this is divided by arc cos arc, arc cos x, which is arc set one minus x. Plus ln uh, arc cos is arc set of 1 over x divided by 1 plus x squared. Done. Thank you for watching. Hope video is informative, helpful. Before you go, make sure to subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to hit or smash the like button. Done. Eh?